All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 22 minus 1. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 2 to the power of 11 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 11 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2 minus 1. Now 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. Now the reason I did that and we wrote 1 as 1 squared is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So just to clarify, a is 2 to the power of 11 and b is 1. So now I get 2 to the power of 11 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 11 minus 1. Now, what is 2 to the power of 11? Well, 2 to the power of 9 is 512. 2 to the power of 10 is going to be double of 2 to the power of 9, which is double of 512, which is 1,024. So 2 to the power of 11 is double of 1,024, which is 2,048. So now, I get 2,048 plus 1 times 2048 minus 1. Now 2048 plus 1 is 2049, and 2048 minus 1 is 2047. So I get 2049 times 2047 and now a simpler way of multiplying this rather than the usual method of this way. This way takes way too long. So a much easier route is to rewrite this as 2000 plus 49 times 2000 plus 47. Now from here, I can simply distribute. So I have 2000 times 2000, which is 2000 squared plus 2000 times 47 plus 49 times 2,000 plus 49 times 47. Now 2,000 squared is going to be 4 million plus 47 times 2,000 is 94,000 plus 49 times 2,000 is 98,000 and finally 49 times 47 is 2,303. So now by adding all these up, I get 4,194,000 because 94,000 plus 98,000 is 190,000. 94,000 and then I have to add in the 2,303 so now I get 303 at the end. All right so in this video I'm going to solve the problem 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So I want to find the value of this. So for my solution What I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 20 equals over 20 to the power of 10. And I'm going to rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 plus 10 over 20 to the power of 10. So I rewrote 20, my exponent here, as 10 plus 10. 
Now, the reason I did that is so I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is an important property of exponents. And I'm going to use this on 10 to the power of 10 plus 10. So now 10 to the power of 10 plus 10, that's going to turn into, we can think of both 10, but 10 as both m and n. So this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10 all over 20 to the power of 10. Now, this can be written as 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10. All I did was I just grouped 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10 because this way I can use the property a to the power of m over b to the power of m is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 over 20 to the power of 10, which is equal to 10 to the power of 10 times 1 half to the power of 10. And finally, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is going to turn into 10 times 1 half to the power of 10, which is equal to 5 to the power of 10. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also share this with any friends or family. Thank you.